Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing well. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a dot painting and to start off, I'm going to first paint my canvas black and this canvas size is four by four in inches and one coating of paint will do for me. After that, I will then find the center point of my canvas and this is pretty important since it helps you keep your designs even. The colors I want to stand out the most in this painting definitely has to be blue, red, and yellow while the remainder colors will just help it glow. The first color I'm going to use is blue, so I'm going to add a little bit to my palette and keeping a firm grip on my wrist with my other hand. This is going to help keep my whole hand balanced while also having an elbow on the table. And if you happen to make a mistake, simply just use a damp paintbrush and just wipe it away as quickly as you can. After that, I am then going to add some orange to my palette and using my smallest drill bit, I am going to add dots around it. And the easiest way to do this is to make a cross on the guidelines with the orange and then fill in the gaps that are available after. Afterwards, Once I have the entire center point covered in orange dots, I am then going to use my smallest nail dotting tool and I'm going to add some dots in the spaces that are available. Now we can add our next color and that's going to be yellow. So I've added some yellow to my palette and with a slightly bigger drill bit tool, I'm going to add them in the spaces that we have. And since this created a gap between the yellow dots, I decided that I would use my smallest dotting tool and just add some dots in there. And I really like the look that this design gave. And you're going to notice that the more you do these kind of paintings, the easier it's going to become to just create designs. And for this part, I decided that on top of those smaller dots, I would add another dot. To help balance out that blue center dot, I decided to add in some more blue dots. Once that is done, I'm then going to move on to our next color, which is going to be red, and I'll be using a bigger drill bit for this part since I want the red and blue to stand out against each other. If you aren't sure about the colors to use, you can use a complementary color chart and this will give you a idea on what colors work well against each other. Since I wanted to fill in as much space as possible, I decided to use some more orange and at this point I'm just looking for a way to help spread those colors out evenly and to help the colors gradually fade out as well. Next with my nail dotting tool, I'm going to walk the line around the red dots and for those who are just tuning in, walking the lines is when the dots go from their biggest to their smallest and it's best achieved with a pointy tool. After the red dots, I'm going to do the same thing in orange just to help tone down that red. I'm then going to go back to the blue and add dots in the dips that we have. And since this part was still too dark for me, I decided to add two more walk in the line rows with yellow over the orange dots. Alright, so we can now add purple to our palette and I want to gradually work my way into it so I'm going to use a small drill bit and add some dots in the dips that we have. Afterwards, I'm going to move on to the bigger drill bits and I'm going to add some bigger dots with the purple over the purple dots that we have. So using my smallest drill bit now, I'm going to go back to that blue and I'm going to go ahead and add it right over our purple dots and with my smallest styling tool, I'm going to walk the line over the purple dots with the same blue. Since I didn't want the red to just stop in the center, I decided to go ahead and add that back in. So with a medium drill bit tool, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we can move on to adding the blue back in. So I'm going to be using my biggest drill bit in my toolkit. And I'm just going to go ahead and add those dots right over the red dots. And as you guys can see, the red and blue are really standing out against each other. And I really like it. Once the blue dots are done, I'm then going to go in with the yellow and add the yellow in just to help balance out the center. So I'm going to add it right over the blue dots that we have and then on each side of the yellow dots, I'm going to add some white in. And I really like adding white into the paintings because I feel like it balances all the colors out, especially when they're really bright and bold. Now I'm gonna walk the line with orange right over the yellow dots and once that is done, I'm going to add white dots on top of, and then another row of smaller white dots. I was really struggling at this part to see what colors to put together and believe it or not, this has been the most difficult for me because I was actually trying to plan my colors out versus me just going with the flow. This next part, I'm going to time lapse it and I'm going to start lighting up some of those colors. But before I do, I wanna say that the only colors for this painting I'm going to lighten up are the bold colors, such as the red, blue, purple, and orange. The other colors stand out well on their own, so I'm not going to mess with them. But yeah, with that said, I will talk to you in a bit.
So I could have just left the mandala as it was, but I felt like it would have been too plain, so I've decided to add some dots to the corners of our canvas just to help it pop up more. So I've added some red to my palette, and with a medium sized drill bit I'm going to add it to the center of all the corners, and with my smallest nail dotting tool I am then going to add dots on both sides of the bigger red dot and then add one dot on top. Then I will add dots in the gap so that this whole design looks like an arrow. Now I'm going to go back with my medium drill bit and add some orange in and I'm going to put dots on both sides of the red and then one orange dot on top. When that is done, I'm going to add some yellow to the gaps and add two dots within on each side. I'm also going to add a yellow dot on each side of the orange dots and then one on top and I think from here on out the whole look is completed. If I added any more it would probably look too crowded. Alrighty, so now the last thing to do is to coat it with Mod Podge and I've diluted it with water so that it doesn't leave streak marks on my canvas. I found that doing it this way helps it dry much faster. And that completes this painting. What do you guys think? I hope you all found this tutorial helpful. I hope it wasn't too fast either. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or down. I'm open to all feedback just as long as it's constructive. If you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Friday. Thank you guys a bunch for your support and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!